What's up guys, I'm going to do another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 game settings update, update, patch notes video. And today's video we're going to be going over the patch notes for December 11th. So, today is the day. Operation Absolute Zero is now live on PlayStation 4. And this update brings so much new content as well as this new update. So, we had an update yesterday which I covered in a separate video which you guys can check out on screen if you guys missed that or at the end of the video you can click on that and go and check out what changed with that one but we also got another update today changing some things around as well so um, Operation Absolute Zero like I said is now live first on PlayStation 4 it'll be live on Xbox One and PC uh, next week and this uh, huge new operation delivers tons of new content across every single mode so for multiplayer uh, they, Treyarch says, Meet Zero, our newest specialist armed with devastating hacking abilities, including the new EMP Disruptor Grenade for Blackout. Black Ops 2's Hijacked has been added as Blackout's newest destination, along with the new ARAV vehicle, and a new nine Zombies character missions to find and complete. For Zombies, there's three new Zombies features that are now live, that is Daily Callings, the Black Ops Authenticity Stamp System, and the Daily Tier Skips for Zombies on all platforms, and PC will be coming soon, so the, um, the Daily Tier Skips are live on every platform, so Xbox and PS4, PC will be a little bit later, but it's not like, you know, a week later. Um, like it would be, you know, for like some of this other stuff. For the black market, they have a revamped 100 tier system for simpler and more rewarding progression. And it features new earnable blackout characters, mastercrafts, epic outfits, reactive camos, weapon camos, and new multiplayer weapons. That's the Damon 3XB SMG, SWAT RFT assault rifle, and the secret Santa melee weapon. And they say, for Black Ops Pass holders, we've launched our first drop of content, including two new multiplayer maps, a new Zombies experience, and the newest exclusive Blackout character, first on PlayStation 4. So today also marks the first kind of DLC or content drop for the Black Ops Pass. So this is what DLC uh, 1, we're probably going to get about four DLCs in Black Ops 4 Zombies uh, slash multiplayer and Blackout and stuff. So today marks the very first one. So we get a new uh, mul uh, new Zombies experience, which is called Dead of the Night. We have two new multiplayer maps, which are Elevation and Madagascar. So uh, Elevation and Madagascar join the map rotation, and they're now playable in the new map pack mosh pit this week on PlayStation 4. Dead of the Night, uh, party up to take on a, a chilling new zombie adventure set in 1912 England, featuring a full celebrity cast. That's Kiefer Sutherland, Helena Bonham Carter, Brian Blessed, and Charles Dance, and a host of deadly new weapons, traps, special weapons, Easter eggs, and much more to discover. So, a brand new zombies map, and uh, also Reaper arrives in Blackout. So they say safety protocols disengaged. Everyone's favorite experimental war robot from Black Ops 3 drops into Blackout to murder everything. So really awesome. We didn't get a trailer for zombies or really anything like teasing it up until this point. It's just like boom, new zombies, new multiplayer maps and this new uh, Blackout character. So now we're up to two Blackout characters um, from the Black Ops Pass. So in the Black Ops Pass, we were promised you know, a couple of uh, Blackout characters, and so we had the Shadow Man, and now we have Reaper. So we have two out of the four uh, Blackout characters already in the game, and we have uh, one of the four Zombies experiences, and two out of the however many multiplayer maps we're gonna get for Black Ops 4 multiplayer. So the new multiplayer playlists have arrived today as well, including Blackjack's Gun Game on PS4 featuring the new Damon 3X SMG and the SWAT RFT assault rifle as well as a map pack mosh pit for Black Ops pass holders who want to grind the latest MP maps. They say we've also heard our mercenary players loud and clear and we're adding at least one mercenary playlist to the featured category each week for the foreseeable future. Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit joins the fray this week including TDM 85 and Kill Confirm 75 with no parties allowed. So a summary for today's update is that uh, Zero has been added in for use in MP and Blackout. So MP, uh, you get black, uh, you get Zero just by getting to Tier 1 in the new Black Market system. And in Blackout, uh, her character unlock mission is unlocked by default. You don't have to actually like do a mission to earn, unlock her specialist character outfit thing in Blackout um, like you would for any of the other specialists. You just get her by default with this update. Uh, hijacked the ARAV new weapons and the nine zombie character missions are added in a blackout and that is on PS4 only right now They have revamped the black market tiers uh, With 100 tiers including new weapons and that's on PS4 as well I also want to point out that uh, zero is only out on PS4 as well right now uh, Daily callings black ops authenticity stamp and daily tier skips are added to zombies and that's PS4 and Xbox one today 
and the MP featured playlists are updated, and that's PS4 and Xbox One as well. Uh, Profits Tempest now requires more accuracy to hit targets, that's PS4 and Xbox One. There's fixes for Dark Matter Bug and Zero related crashes in multiplayer, once again, PS4 and Xbox One. And they also have prestigious award fix in Zombies, so that's an achievement slash trophy for PS4 and Xbox One. And the Black Ops Pass content was added, that's the two new multiplayer maps, New Zombie Experience and Reaper and Blackout, and that is only on PS4 and will come a week later on Xbox. So. Now we're going to be taking a look at all the specific changes for what Treyarch has done to PS4 today. So, uh, for multiplayer, Specialist, Zero has been added in as a playable character, unlocked at Tier 1 in the Black Market. They also fixed crashes related to Zero's equipment. The Black Ops Pass content, Madagascar and Elevation are playable for Black Ops Pass holders. For Blackout, the ARAV, introducing the ARAV, Blackout's first combat-centric vehicle. The ARAV is a three-player vehicle featuring three positions, the driver. The ARAV is the second fastest land vehicle behind the ATV in pure speed. It's the second toughest vehicle after the cargo truck. While it can shrug off a few bullets, the ARAV drivers still need to be mindful of explosives and rockets headed their direction. For the passenger, as the passenger, players have the option of staying seated within the safety of the cabin or leaning out the window to initiate combat with scavenged weapons and equipment. Players enter the passenger seat with weapons lowered and equipment unavailable. To change from sitting in the seat to leaning out the window, press aim down sights, fire or use equipment buttons. To re-enter the vehicle while leaning out, press the re-enter or switch seat button and players can heal from within the confines of the ARAV passenger seat without transitioning to leaning out. While leaning out, players still have full use of their weapons and equipment. And then the third and final position for the ARAV vehicle is the turret gunner. In the turret position, players have placed on a mounted machine gun with a 360 degree aim, perfect for providing suppressing fire or firing on enemy vehicles. Turret firing is metered by two mechanics, overheat and and durability. So for overheat, uh, the extended firing will cause the turret to overheat and be temporarily disabled. The turret will be usable again after it is cooled down. And for durability, the turret will become permanently disabled over time. Keep an eye on the turret itself as it will begin to pour smoke and ultimately catch fire when its durability is reduced to zero and no longer can be used. So it doesn't mean that this spot can't be used. It just means that the turret, after you know a certain amount of time, won't be available. So even though it, like it does overheat, it doesn't mean it's you know completely done until the turret basically like explodes and stuff. So, um, the next thing is that Hijacked is added. Hijacked has been added to the, the map. It's docked just outside a construction site. And this, quote, well-known luxury yacht has received some much-needed improvements featuring a helipad as a possible helicopter spawn point, as well as a possible vehicle spawn. And they made improvements to mantling in Hijacked's location, which, oh my gosh, thank goodness, because I was having so many glitches and stuff where I couldn't freaking get up the ladders. Um, for characters, for Blackout, uh, Zero has been added as a playable character once unlocked at Tier 1 in the Black Market. And there's no character mission. So as soon as you unlock Zero in multiplayer, uh, you will unlock her in Blackout. So you can just rock her character, just skin, and you know, as a playable character. And there's no mission, like, say, for all the other specialists or any of the other characters, basically. It's just like one of the Black Ops Pass characters or some of the default skins. You just, boom, you just put it on and you're good. You don't have to do anything to earn her other than, I guess, you know, getting to tier one in the black market. Uh, the next thing is that the nine zombie character missions are now available to find and complete to play as a gladiator versions of Scarlet, Diego, Bruno, and Shaw. So these are from the zombies uh, map nine. That's the gladiator arena uh, mission or map. And so that's pretty cool. So we have the uh, Voyage of Despair characters and we also have the nine ones in there as well. So uh, now we have both versions of those guys. It's pretty cool. And so now there's more character missions for you guys to go out there and unlock. So like I said, this is right now is still all PlayStation 4 uh, new weapons. For 24 hours, Firing Range contains an overabundance of the new weapons. So that's the uh, Damon SMG. We have the SWAT or FT Assault Rifle. And then we also have the Secret Santa Melee weapon. So these can be found specifically um, like at Fire Range, but they can also be found elsewhere on the map. But it's like really, really common to find them at Fire Range right now. So... They say that new range weapons also come in gold variants, fully loaded with attachments. And once the 24 hour time period is up, the new range weapons will be found in the world at normal item spawn frequency. And the Black Ops Pass content, Reaper has been added as a playable character for Black Ops Pass holders. For zombies, there's a Black Ops Pass content uh, drop, and that is Dead of the Night is now live for Black Ops Pass holders. It's not available as a separate purchase right now, only available for the Black Ops Pass, but hey, it's a brand new zombies map. And this is basically DLC 1 here in December for some reason, but whatever. 
Um, next up, we're going to talk about the black market. So a black market revamp. There is now 100 clearly defined tiers for streamlined progression. Uh, there's new item categories and more diverse content, including new weapons, reactive camos, weapon camos, reticles, mastercrafts, and more. And the reserves will now start at tier 101 instead of, you know, being like interjected in between, you know, regular ones. Um, so now if you want to get any of those specific reserve items and stuff, you have to get past the initial 100 tiers. And so if you're just looking to get all the like the base things and like, you know, the characters and stuff, and you don't really want to grind out this game too much, you can just get to tier 100 and be good and be satisfied with, you know, how you are. And you won't have to go any further unless you want to get specific reserves content. There is new shared war paints that can be equipped with uh, different outfits across different themes on the same specialist. And then new specialist zero is unlocked at tier one. So they also have new weapons. Like I said, uh, they have the Damon 3XB and has a three round burst 45 caliber SMG with a fast cyclical rate of fire with improved hip fire accuracy. There's the SWAT RFT, it's a 5.56 assault rifle with moderate recoil and a fast rate of fire. And the Secret Santa, a festive melee weapon for the holiday season. So now, next up, we have PS4 and Xbox One changes and stuff. So they say, in addition to the changes in our new 1.09 title update, the following changes are also now live on PS4 and Xbox One with PC to follow. So first up, let's talk about multiplayer. So for multiplayer, uh, they have changed around some of the featured playlists, so Blackjack's Gun Game is now added as a featured playlist on PS4. Uh, Gun Game is now uh, with three Operation Absolute Zero weapons added to the rotation. Uh, the Map Pack Mosh Pit is added to the featured category for Black Ops Pass holders on PS4. And those maps are Elevation and Madagascar with uh, TDM, Domination, Kill Confirmed, and Hardpoint as the game modes. Next up is Mercenary Capture Mosh Pit. And uh, that's the game modes of Domination, Control, and Hardpoint. And once again, it's Mercenary, so there's no parties. And this is available on Xbox One. They have Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit. Um, and that is TDM and Kill Confirmed at 6v6 with no parties allowed. And Deathmatch Mosh Pit has been added to the featured category. And game modes for that are TDM and Kill Confirmed. So next up, uh, they change one specialist around. That's Profit. So Profit, um, his Tempest now requires more accuracy to hit its target. For Dark Matter, they address an issue players experience with keeping Dark Matter equipped from match to match. For Zombies, okay, so now we're moving on from multiplayer to Zombies. So Daily Callings. Daily Callings have now been added to the Barracks and Zombies, and players can now complete a new Daily cha uh, Calling Challenges for bonus Zombies XP and Napoleon Plasma every day. So this is kind of like those Daily Challenges we had in Black Ops 3 Zombies where every day it would give you a challenge to do something and it would give you a certain amount of XP or in that game it was like XP or Liquid Divinium. Well this time it's XP and Nebulian Plasma. There's no, you know, one or the other, it's both. You get both every single day you complete one of these challenges. Uh, next up is the Black Ops Authenticity Stamp. So the uh, Black Ops Authenticity Stamp feature has been added to the After Action Report for every single match and players can enter their unique forward code generated in the after action report at callofduty.com slash boas so b-o-a-s and that stands for the black ops authenticity stamp to share their accomplishments with the world and so these are the included stats that are tracked here so it's, it tracks the number of kills you've gotten downs revives headshots and rounds survive the map selection game type number of players difficulty attempted, special weapons, equipment, and talismans used, perks and elixirs equipped, number of elixirs consumed, the match duration, score spent, final score, and more. So it's basically like a full like comprehensive um, kind of list of all of your stats for that game. So if you have like a really awesome game that is like, you know, a really good record and you want like an official uh, way to track all of your stats and stuff so people can make sure that it's legit, this is the way that you do it. So you go to this, you know, like this link and then you enter your four word code um, that is generated in the after action report and you can see all of your stats and everything for that and you can't like fake this in any way. So this is like the real way that you can find all of your stats and everything for your game. So if you get to like a world record high round, you can share your like little link thing with it. So that way people can like just look at it and see and make sure that it is legit. So 
Next up is they have their daily tier skip. So they added the daily tier skip credit for reaching round 15 in the game of classic zombies every day. And this is now live on Xbox One and PS4. So this um, is something that I have discussed previously on my channel. Uh, is that I initially thought, because some of the, like, the phrasing the Treyarch used led us to believe that it was going to be an additional tier skip um, added on to say like Blackout and Multiplayer. But I just want to you know confirm to you guys that I have done this and it is the same tier skip that you get from multiplayer or blackout. So it's not like you get two in a day. It's either you get to round 15 in a game of classic zombies and you get your daily tier skip. You win a game of multiplayer or you get any amount of, of merits in blackout and you'll get the daily tier skip that way. You don't get any extra by playing zombies. It's literally just uh, any mode you play in Black Ops 4, uh, whatever you play, multiplayer, blackout, or zombies, as long as you do whatever you know you need to to get the tier skip, you're going to get it. So there's no extra one or anything like that. It's literally just the one. So next up is that they fixed a crash that could occur when upgrading the Blender Gat to the Magma Gat. And then lastly for this update, so they fixed a trophy slash achievement. So this one is the prestigious award. So, it now properly tracks progress for attaining max level or prestige with 25 different weapons and zombies. So previously, this achievement was 100% glitch. There was no way for anybody to unlock this achievement or trophy, and now you can actually get it. So it now properly tracks. So if you've already, you know, gotten all the challenges for it, previously it wouldn't unlock for you, but now as soon as you boot up the game, it will unlock for you and now you're going to be able to get this achievement slash trophy. So all you trophy hunters and achievement hunters out there, there you guys go. Now you can get it and there's no more, you know, need to worry. And so now every achievement in zombies is now obtainable. There's no glitched ones anymore. And that is it for this update. That is it for December 11th. So this is pretty good. We got an update yesterday, which is absolutely huge and amazing. And we got another one today. And so Trick has been absolutely killing it. This is a great content drop with two new multiplayer maps, a new zombies map, and with like Hijacked and Blackout with a ton of new content and stuff with Blackout as well. Like there's so much awesome stuff coming to Black Ops 4 today. It's a huge, huge content drop. And Trick just seems to be updating the game like crazy. So... Yeah, there you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your guys' thoughts on all of this in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.